I had the opportunity to try out Sonos' newest player, the Play 3, before it launched. And I was really excited about this because I have a Sonos system in my house and I absolutely love it. Sonos lets you play music in any room of your home wirelessly. In my house, I have a player hooked to my computer, I have one hooked to my home theater system, I have this Play 5 in my kitchen, and I can play music from the internet like Pandora, Rhapsody, um, internet radio stations, and I can also play the music that's on my computer. I control it all using free apps that are on my iPhone and my iPad, and if you have an Android phone, there's an app for that too. One of the best things about Sonos is that you can play one song or playlist or station in every room of your home, or you can pick a different song for each room. I tried out the Play 3 in my kitchen because that's where I keep the Play 5. Um, and as you can see, this is a whole lot smaller. It has three drivers instead of the five that the Play 5 has. Um, and because it's so small, I was able to push it back up against the counter here and still have room to work in my kitchen. The Play 5 is a little bigger, so I normally keep it up on the fridge out of the way. Uh, the Play 3 sounds great though. It's got a really rich sound, decent bass, uh, really filled my small kitchen with sound. If I had a bigger space though, I'd probably go with the Play 5 because that's a little more open and gives you even more bass. Another option for the Play 3 here is to flip it up on its side for places where you have even less room, or you can pair this with another Play 3 and create a stereo pair, and that'd be great for a room where you're going to do more dedicated listening. So I really enjoyed trying out the Play 3. It sounded fantastic in my house. If you have any questions about the Play 3 or other Sonos players or Sonos in general, just give us a call.